Hey everybody, I'm your host Jason with OK Four Wheel Drive and we've got the ramper behind us. We're about to hit the road for two days living out of this truck and skiing Canaan Valley, West Virginia. Let's get started. The best products and best service from people who care and love what they do. OK Four Wheel Drive, outfitting vehicles since 1979. A one ton Ram truck here. This is the Tradesman Edition. It's got a whole lot of power, right? Yeah. Um, it's a lot bigger than driving Daddy's Tacoma around, isn't it? Uh -huh. It actually says it's 46 degrees outside, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we are leaving. We're going to live out of this truck for a couple of days. We're going to make our way up into Canaan Valley and then hopefully crush out two days of skiing here. Um, unless we get skunked with rain, then maybe we'll go do something else. But are you pretty excited to live out of this camper? Yes. Me too. All right, let's get to Canaan Valley. Good morning, there's the camper. We slept in a little bit late. Uh, we drove for quite a while last night. Didn't feel like really getting the camera out first thing when we got there and we're getting things set up. We'll show you how that works uh, this evening. But Catcher and I made some dinner, uh, got some really good sleep. I can hear him talking and playing with toys and stuff in there right now, which is kind of cute. We gotta get to the resort and get our passes so we can have some fun today. Is there a ton of people here? Yes. Where are we? Uh, we are at Timberline Mountain. In Davis or Canaan Valley, West Virginia? Uh, Canaan Valley, West Virginia. I don't know. Yeah, like Catcher said, it's busy today. How was the first run? Good. Good? Where are we going to go now? Uh, we are going to go... The other uh, direction? Yeah. So to the left off the chairlift. We'll look at a map and show everybody where we're going. So this is quite possibly <laughs> the tiniest little map, right? In a typical uh, ski resort fashion, small, it's that big. <laughs> um, Catcher and I have already done Salamander over here to start the day. Now I think we're gonna go down Twister and we're gonna try to knock off as many of these slopes as we can. I don't know exactly how many there are. You could probably look at this and count. Um, but I think that's what we're gonna do is try to knock all these out. We were just riding up with somebody um, and they were like, don't go to Wisps tomorrow. So um, if things are good, we'll maybe come here in the morning. What do you think? <laughs> All right, he's goofy. If things are good, maybe we'll just come here in the morning um, and then maybe do tubing in the afternoon or something like that. But uh, yeah, let's hit it up and see what Twister's like, buddy. Wow, it is bright on the screen. Um, I can confirm that it's a really warm day. Was it? Yes. Like, this is like springtime, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah. we're still able to go ski. That's a good thing. We got about five hours or so of skiing in, and then we just got a little thirsty, so we came back to the truck, um, set up some chairs, had a little bite to eat, and then you took a nap, didn't you? Yeah. How long did, did I? I think about an hour and a half, maybe a two hour nap. 
Well, that's the good thing about having, you know, a vehicle that you can just pop open. Sure, you could sleep in the passenger seat of a vehicle, you know, um, but to be able to have a fridge, have a sleeping space comfortably. I mean, if Ketcher and I were both tired, I mean, we could just leave the truck set up here and stay in the parking lot, right? Yeah. But we're going to go see one of your buddies, one of my buddies, maybe have yeah. some fun and then on to the next location, right? Yep. Good day at Timberline. We might be back tomorrow. I don't know. It's supposed to rain, so I don't know what we're going to end up doing. But uh, yeah, um, we're hitting the road. Head on to the next place. Yep. We got skunked with some rain, hey, but we are skiing with some of Catcher's buddies today and some of my friends, and we're just kind of enjoying it. The rain was here very quick, and now it's gone and there's like nobody here so it's a fantastic time and then probably hit for the woods uh tonight and uh cook up some food in the camper and uh, call it a wrap for this adventure days skiing here at Timberline. You did do one crash land, but everybody... I did two, Dad. Oh, you did two? Okay. Yeah, that one. Thanks to our friends Josh and Becky and Wyatt for hanging out with us last night and showing us around town a little bit. And uh, yeah, now we got to go find a place to camp, right? Yeah. Get out in the woods a little bit and uh, make some dinner tonight and have a good time and then head back home tomorrow, huh? Yep. Yep. We'll check in with you later. Goodbye. I'm making some noodles for catcher. All bamboo countertops. Um, over here we have a Dometic hydration jug and the Dometic faucet, which is really nice. We've actually winterized the camper. Bed up here, the whole bed platform actually lifts up. We've got a fridge right here, which is really nice, really easy to access. We've got storage right here, which is really nice. Heat and such are down here. This table actually moves down and kind of fills this space up here. Pads can actually come off there on Velcro and we can put those right here. We can create a sleeping space right here. The window to outside, we have an option for a screen here and we can pull up the blinds. This is kind of nice if it's really, really cold outside. Switches for outside, they're all on right now. We're gonna make some noodles yes. and uh, eat some dinner. And have so and I'm thirsty. And then we're going to watch a movie too, right? Yeah, and, I, and I'm also thirsty too. Okay. <laughs> we'll get you some water. Okay, the first episode of On the Loose is now in the books. Thanks for joining us on this adventure here in West Virginia. Be sure to like and subscribe and smash that bell for notifications. We'll see you next time. I mean, what did you think about uh, only being able to ski at Timberline instead of going to a different ski resort? Um, I probably liked going to Timberline. It was pretty fun. What did you like the most about Timberline? Well, I got to ski with my friends at Timberline. I can see that. You thought the terrain was kind of fun? Yeah. The lifts were good? Uh-huh.